Claire Bond, the Gluten-Free Avenger, and on today's episode, I am making a raspberry mojito. So there's, to me, there's nothing like this, a drink in the summertime, um, like a fruity drink. Um, I pretty much can have a fruity drink any time of the year, but I especially love them, fresh fruit uh, drinks in the summertime. So raspberry mojitos are one of my favorite things, and um, the, the thing about mojitos is there are a lot of ways to do it wrong. <laughs> so I, it's, there's so many times where you go somewhere and they just basically garnish with mint or they put a teeny bit of, of lime in there. But the lime and the mint are the two most important things in a mojito. So when they're just minuscule or just a dash of something, it's not a mojito. So anyway, let's get started and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really pretty easy. So um, I know a lot of people are kind of scared off by mojitos, but it's so, so easy. So. One of the things that you're going to need is a muddler. So this one is, actually I got this years ago from the Mojito Company. Um, and yeah, this one really, I mean, come on, right? It looks like a freaking caveman stick or something. Um, but they also have these small ones um, and these will do just fine. Um, but I can leave you a link so you can get your giant mojito company if you want to like really rock your mojitos. <laughs> so um, I'll make sure that you have that link. So, all right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take about 12 leaves of mint, um, fresh mint, I clean them. And one of the things that a lot, I see a lot of bartenders do is they clap it. They just go like that. And it basically, it kind of breaks down the capillaries and makes it easier to muddle and the flavor um, really lets the flavor out. So why it works, I don't know. I just see them do it and I'm like, you know what? They're professionals so I should do what they do. So we're gonna clap it like that. We're gonna stick it in. All right, and then we're gonna end. Yeah, it definitely works. You can smell it on your hands. Um, all right, so then five raspberries and we're going to add the juice of half a lime. So just cut your lime in half and then just use your juicer this and squeeze it all in there as much as you can and then take your mojito company muddler and you're just basically kind of pushing and turning pushing and turning until it gets nicely combined and you really just want the essence of the mint to get in that lime juice so the lime juice is gonna help break it down, the muddling's gonna help break it down, and obviously the raspberries are pretty easy to break down. All right, so that looks pretty well muddled. It's really very fast, 30 seconds max. And then I'm going to take, I, I have pre-made simple syrup, you can always make your own. It's really simple. It's literally just sugar and water and you, um, you cook it down and it's super simple. Um, but if you don't wanna do that, you can always buy simple syrup or you can always use regular sugar. That's always an option as well. But um, I find when, it, when you use simple syrup, it's just, it makes the drink a lot easier and you never get any of the granules of the, um, of the sugar, which just kind of makes it a little nicer, so. Use simple syrup if you can. All right, and then uh, as far as rum, you really can use any rum you like. I think that a white rum works a lot better than a dark rum in it, so I usually always use white. Um, I know Bacardi makes a raspberry flavor, so you can always use that. Um, I just use regular Bacardi because that's what I have, so we're just gonna go with that. All right, so we're just gonna put an ounce and a half of our Bacardi rum. and shake it up. This is the fun part. <laughs> All right, now this is always a little tricky part because it always gets a little icy and it's a little hard to do. So we're gonna see if I can do it. Let's go. Then I'm going to take the top off. Send us that, ooh. Sometimes that can be the tricky part. Um, and another thing that I like to do is I always like to strain it because I feel like it feels like a salad when you're drinking it, like straining through your teeth. It's just kind of not very, not my favorite thing. So I always strain. So strain it over your nice ice that you have. And 
time. That looks amazing. And then we're going to just top it off with a little bit of club soda. Look at that. And then I have my little mint leaves on the side. Put a little raspberry here and there. And there you go. Here's your mojito. It looks amazing. And look at the color. And it's all real. Awesome as always. <laughs> This is a great, super, super easy recipe. I guarantee you will love it and your friends will love it. They'll love you for making it for them. So I really hope that you check this out and I will see you next time. Come on, baby.